morning, everybody. It's Atalia tomorrow. Wishing you guys a good morning. If I post this later today, then it won't be good morning. But right now, it's morning for me. So, <clears throat> gay marriage. In my school, my friend Drew, who is amazing, suggested to the student government, which we are both in together, that we do um, gender and sexuality sensitivity workshops for the teachers and the students. Um, eventually, that uh, project turned into a side club and not really a uh, student government thing. And there were going to be two separate workshops, one for teachers and one for students. I was there for a couple of the meetings, but it was on Mondays, and I have dance on Mondays, so I couldn't really go to all of them. But I was there for the teachers one, and I was involved with the teachers' um, workshops. And I was present for the student workshops. So I just wanted to um, say that this lecture that I'm going to give, or whatever, I'm, like, I'm going to define all the terms in LGBTQQIAPP+. I just wanted to say that that was from that, and I did not. I mean, they're definitions, though. So I guess, let me just get on with it. Actually, I'm going to use this for the first five. Is this right side up? Now it is. I started making a poster, this poster for my locker, LGBTQ. So a little history. It used to be just LGBT because that's all people thought were there, right? Um, there's lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, um, or transgender. But then everybody else who wasn't part of that group but still felt like they weren't straight or cis, and I will define those later, um, were like, hey, what about me? So they created the Q for queer, um, just encompassing everybody. But that sort of is like, oh, everybody else. And everybody wants their own thing, so that's how QIAPP got there. Okay, so now let's start with L. L stands for lesbian. It means that girls like girls. Gay is when guys like guys. Woohoo! <clears throat> oh! Oh wait, hold on. Lesbian, ladies like ladies. G, gay, guys like guys. B, bisexual, guys or girls like both. When people think of bisexual, they usually think of um, someone liking both boys and girls. It just bi means two, and it just pretty much means that you like two genders, and it can be whatever gender, I mean, it doesn't have to be just guy or girl, it could be girls and girls to guys, um, and that's where trans comes in. The T stands for trans. That just pretty much means that you are not cisgendered. This gendered means, that means that, like, I am a cis female, means that I was born with, um, female genitalia and I see myself as a girl, um, but there are people who are born with genitalia that doesn't match up with how, with the gender that they view themselves with. Um, and there is male to female, there's female to male, um, but there's a bunch of different ones, like when you don't feel like you fit into the guy or girl genders, or you feel like you're a mixture of the two, or a different gender, um, the list goes on. So I guess the important thing to think about when you think of trans is just that there aren't just two genders, boy and girl, there's a bunch, because there are also people that switch between the two genders, two genders, or different genders. That's where different pronouns come in. So everyone knows he and she. He is for boys, she is for girls. But the people who don't feel like they fit into a boy and girl, or they're both, or they're neither, um, there are a bunch of different pronouns. The one I'm going to talk about today is the one that's like most commonly used. Um, you can look it up, there's a bunch. The most commonly gender normative pronoun is um, zee, zim, zer. Um, like he, him, his, or she, her, hers. It's like that, it's a zee, zim, zers. Z went to the grocery store to get herself a dozen eggs. That is Zim over there getting those eggs for herself. Queer is everybody. Everybody in the whole community. These are the five that most people are familiar with, um, LGBTQ, but the list goes on because the people who um, were in the queue wanted something for their own, so that's where QIAPP 
The second cue means questioning. That's pretty self-explanatory. It just means that you're not sure of what you are. You might be one thing, but you don't know if you are another. I, intersex. That just means that the genitalia that you were born with isn't quite clear. It could be a mix of the two. It could be leaning towards one and less of the other. Or it could mean um, that you don't have uh, either. Um, it just means that it's not clear whether you are uh, male or female. Um, asexual. Uh, this means that you do not experience sexual attraction at all. It does not mean that you do that you cannot love romantically. Asexual people can still love romantically, have romantic relationships, and they can still have sex. Like, to be asexual is not to be celibate. Those are two different terms. Celibate means that you do experience, or you might experience sexual attraction, um, but you just don't have sex. Uh, asexual means that you just don't experience sexual attraction, but you might have sex. Um, or you might not, but they can still love romantically. You can still be in a romantic relationship and be asexual. And this is where, like, you can be, um, more than one of the letters. Uh, you can be asexual and bisexual. The first P stands for pansexual. My friend Drew, um, is pansexual. This pretty much means that you like all the genders, uh, and you like everybody. You can fall in love with anybody regardless of what gender. It does not mean that you are walking down a street and you are in love with every single person you meet. It just means that you have the capability of falling in love with anyone, regardless of gender. And polysexual is the last P, and that is between bisexual, which is two, pansexual, which is all, um, polysexual is just multiple in between. Um, just like, you know, you can like, uh, guys, uh, male to female, and girls. Like, it just means more than two, less than all. And then there's the plus, because you can never encompass everybody, and there's always going to be somebody who, feel like, who feels like they don't fit into any of those letters, or into a bunch of letters, and they're questioning, they're asexual, they're bisexual, they might be pansexual, they don't know, they're trans. Like, there's... A lot. That's why there's the plus, because we can never know. And we thought we were done with LGBT and then LGBTQ, but we don't know, so there's the plus. Maybe in the future there will be a hundred letters. Right now it's only ten. Like, okay, you should never go up to someone and say, hey, you're gay. One, it's not an insult, and two, it's insulting to say that it is an insult. And they might not be gay, and it's not okay to call somebody what they're not anyway. Like, if you would call a gay person straight, that could be insulting. But if someone comes out to you and says, hey, I'm gay, then you can say, hey, you're gay. I just thought I should clarify. I'm not finished with this. There's going to be another sheet with the QIAPP. Here are the reasons why I think gay marriage should be legalized in every single state. They're people, too! So, they're people, too. And possible arguments people can have is that it's not natural. It's also not natural for, like, if I am a girl who, if I am a lesbian, it would not be natural for me to date a guy. That's not natural. You know what? I'm not going to talk about that stuff because I'll just be quoting Hank Green in a video that I forget uh, the name of, but I will put the link to it in the description. So those would be all the counter arguments. So watch that video. <sighs> I am amazed that, it, that gay marriage is not legalized in all of the states yet. I mean, we've gone through so much, man. We used to be a country that has slaves. Women couldn't vote. In years to come, in decades, students will be learning about this age in history. It's like, okay, on the quiz. Okay, kids, today's quiz. What year was gay marriage legalized in the 50th state, which is blank? It didn't happen yet, and I'm upset about that because there's still people. And you know what? If people are upset by that for whatever reason, mostly it's religious reasons, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, you know, whatever religions think that way. It's like saying, oh, you can't eat a cupcake because I am on a diet and you offend me for eating a cupcake. Eat all the cupcakes you want because you should not 
give a whatever <laughs> around people who are dieting. You dieters, stop it. It's really ridiculous. And if it offends you that much, I, I can't think of anything to say because it shouldn't offend you because they're just people. And people should love who they want to love. I mean, it's just not okay. And I personally, uh, I don't want to get married until everyone can get married. Okay, I'm sorry if this video offended any people, but it shouldn't have because it is just educating you guys on the really long uh, acronym, LGBTQIAPP+. I've said that so many times in this video, and I am moving my head all over the place and my glasses just fell off. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, then subscribe to my channels. Um, I do kind of rants like this sometimes, I guess now. I do a bunch of book reviews and a bunch of book related stuff, so that's that. Thumbs up. Tell me what you think, guys, because I really want to know your opinions on this. So yeah, okay, that's that. Subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think. The link to the Hank Green video is in the description. Um, I'll tell you tomorrow. And this was my video on LGBTQQIAPP+. Okay, bye!